Hey everybody, uh, we're doing another 10 minute review of Get Out, Oscar nominated Get Out. So I'm hitting the timer and go, Matt. There we go. So Get Out, I didn't really see any trailers, so I had really no idea going in. So you went in like cold. Pretty much. Like I think the only thing I'd seen was like just like a quick clip of, of uh, Daniel's character when he's like, when he's, has up. the eye kind of Yeah, thing. and you're just like, what is going on? Right. Uh, so uh, the movie itself, I enjoy the movie. Um, I, it feels very much like an episode of Black Mirror. A little um, bit, eh? I don't know. This is, this is a spoiler free. We, we, no, we it's all spoiling. spoilers. All Let's spoilers. do it. Let's do it. So yeah, it feels very Black Mirror-ish. Um, it has that like intensity of when I went to see 10 Cloverfield Lane, like edge okay. of my seat going, what the hell is going on? You're trying to figure it out. You're trying to piece things together. And uh, I felt that it was predictable, but it's in a sense that by the time you figured it out, like a minute later, things were revealed to you, kind of thing. Fair enough. So you're just like, oh, maybe For this. You. Oh, maybe that. Oh, maybe this. Well, that's just speculations where I didn't think it was going to happen and then it ended up happening, but like right. you already lost that feeling. Oh, that can't be. Like, it can't be the, you know, at first of like, you know, she mentions, oh, she's never dated black guys before. And Which then, is like, oh, she's dated a lot of black guys. That's what I thought. I'm like, no, maybe. And then I'm like, oh, maybe she's actually one of the ones bringing them there. And I thought I thought she was actually supposed to like hypnotize herself as well. Like her parents. That would have been an interesting her. twist. That's, that's what I thought when she's like searching for the keys. I'm like, oh, she's not on in on it. Wait, no, she is in on it. It's taking too long to find the oh, actually, shit. She's I would in actually on thought it. that was better, actually. Because like as soon as I saw like trailers and everything and yeah. I was like, oh, she's taking them there. And you it's saw gonna... that coming. I saw that coming from the trailer, uh, and, and I, I didn't know it was the brain thing. Like, there was like a... Yeah, transport. that was a hell of a switch. I thought it was... Uh... But I thought it was I thought it was something to do with, like, maybe they're taking blood, maybe they're vampires type people. Or... Really? I never, I never thought of that. I thought more along the lines of... They were using them as like slaves, and they were just like hollow people. But it, of course, it's or like they're it, hypnotized into wanting to like something, something there. The 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 the, the, the finally the part that caught that caught up is when uh, Milton from Office Space he like he shows up on the TV and you see he's in like a gown. That's that's what I mean. Like I was like, oh shit, they're putting people in them. Yeah, but it was already too late. Like by that time, they're already explaining what's going on. You just catch on like I'm like seconds before yeah. they tell you i right? knew i knew there was something going on with either like like the tsa guy was like weird sex shit like either like this old lady <laughs> this old lady wanted to bang this like you know good looking yeah. black guy yeah you know what or, yeah, they're, they're, it's all over the place and i have to say for the movie uh the character rod played by uh, little rel howry he's your favorite character he's my favorite character like i was watching this and like when he shows up at the end Oh man, me and my girlfriend cheered. We're like, yeah, motherfucking TSA! <laughs> <laughs> See, I thought that was actually a really unrealistic part of the movie. I would actually have been very satisfied if it ended like sort of on a down note. But... Like the police show up and they just shoot them? Yeah, because like, how would you explain that? Right, that, it did. It did leave me wanting to know what the hell happens afterwards. Like, I really wanted to know, like, what happens after his what's life? The, like, what, yeah, what's, what's the, the aftermath? Wake? Yeah, what happens afterwards? Moves, that's the moves one to another country and just like never <laughs> talks about it again. That's the one gripe I have about this film was how it ended. It ended on a too happy note. Like I enjoyed. It. Like I was like I was in in it the whole time and like celebrating when he finally shows up because he's he's my favorite part of that whole movie. Uh, it ends like Die Hard too, where it's just like it's <laughs> yes. just like yeah, everything's okay. <laughs> but I really wanted to know like. You know, uh, is he going to go to jail? Like, is he going to get caught for this thing? Like, that's the things I really wanted to know what was going to happen on that. And it, it felt a little, but not until like, you know, because you're just like, oh, I guess the movie is done. It's not. Endings are weird in movies. I find right. like a lot, a lot of movies have bad endings. Like they don't leave. They, 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 they never leave you satisfied. This one. I was satisfied an, with yeah. the ending, but I was just. It had like, an OK laughing, ending. Yeah. Enjoy the ending when it was, but then you're just like, oh shit, it's done. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, I thought he could have struggled more to get out, but because that's the name of the movie, right? Well, like, really, I the, thought the whole like last half of the movie could have been him trying to get out. I will. It say, was a very short amount of time of him getting out. Well, it's not really about getting out. I thought I thought that the name of the title was when you know the 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 other guy 
<clears throat> show like just yells get out get out get out like yeah so i mean it, it's made by blumhouse which are very famous for for horror films yeah this one they, they <sighs> always knock it out of the park with they, like most of them do there, there there are some stinkers out there but a low lot budget, of them a lot like, of them always low budget horror movies that make a lot of money okay i, I will i will yeah i will give you that and like they have original concepts they do uh, yeah i think don't breathe was also one of those is it I uh, just a weird concept. Um, I think uh, one of the breakout ones was the uh, Insidious too. See, I, I never watched those. Yeah, see, that's that's scary like, for me. This, Insidious was a, a fucking scary. Yeah, movie. Yeah, see, and I don't want that. Like, so I knew this was, this was you, more of a psychological. Scared? I was not scared. I was on the edge of my seat of like trying to piece things together. Like, I love these types of movies of. Like, it's me versus the movie on how fast I can find out what's going on. Okay. Of course, I didn't have the trailer, which I, I, I'm glad I didn't. I, I went in blind, and I feel like... didn't have any real spoilers, and... But and it already gave you an idea yeah, of I, what was happening. I had no... Like, I'm watching this movie, I'm like, what is this movie? All I knew was that it was something about a black guy that goes in to see... Like, it's it's the beginning of Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Like, a little bit, yeah. Like, and then they're playing off... They're playing off that a lot, right? And I mean, the movie is fun. Like, it, it, it doesn't I take agree. itself... It's very fun. Serious. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's made... It's di- written and directed by Jordan Peele. The man is known for comedy, and you, dec- you can definitely feel the comedy. You can definitely feel some of the uh, social kind yeah, of... Yeah, I would like to say, like, we don't find the scariest two white guys... But I think if you you were black, that this might be a lot more frightening. You think it might you might, might be different. I think uh, from so. that perspective. I think so. I, it is a perspective like it can be we uh, don't have, I, exactly. But. I mean, we, we we see it from one end. Um, uh, I will say that. Okay, wait. What? Big question. Yeah. Oscar worthy though. Oscar worthy. See, that's hard to. There has been a lot of <laughs> Oscar worthy it... films out there. Um, it's not my genre. But then again, I don't know if it's there Oscar have worthy. been there have been way less worthy films winning Best Picture, way less yeah. worthy winning uh, Oscars. That I wouldn't be surprised that it won, due to the fact of that that meaning. I don't want it. Like it's not it's not it's not my contender for it to win. Yeah, me but neither. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it uh, winning. It's still it. Uh, th- by the time this is released, it might have already won or lost. So so I, there you go. I don't know. I think it, there's other more deserving films, uh, personally. But, but all but, in all, we in, both enjoyed it. Yeah, and that's for the, what that it doesn't is. Mean I didn't enjoy. I it. had I fun just... with it. Uh, there's a couple things I didn't. Uh, what w- I thought was funny in it, like the fact that he grabs the deer to kill, <laughs> which is funny. like funny because you know the guy hates deer and then he kills him with deer. But then I'm like, that seems so impractical. Why didn't you use the same ball that you you, you whacked his son with? I think it was like something to do with the start of the film. Like he hits the deer. Well, and that's then, the that, that, well, that's actually, what I, I think, think it comes. But, dough, it, but to me, it just felt impractical. I was just like, no. Well, if you, why would you use this as a weapon? I he, always love horror movies that use like impractical <laughs> things as weapons. But that's so. where it got fun, right? Like they're having fun with it. They're, 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 this is not meant to be a very serious film. Right. Uh, I would like to also mention Bradley Whitford, who I loved in. Um, uh, Billy Madison. Billy Madison, and also uh, there's a short film of uh, Peggy Carter on the Captain America. Ah, thing yes, that yes, he's the in. one shots, and uh, and that that's really underrated, I think, too. And also Catherine Keener, who you might know from Forty Year Old Virgin. Uh, right. I've, yeah, I hated her character in this movie. I wanted to hurt her so bad. Really? Oh man, you like hated when, her the most. Oh, she was my the most hated character. In she this was movie. so good in it, though. But that's and and that's what makes a good character. If you really hate a person, you know they they've done a good job. It's like Cersei from from Game of Thrones. I hate her. You know, like it's, <laughs> you know what like they don't mention is that like do you get the nails on the chalkboard feeling when people are stirring shit. That, Never had people, that. No, some people get like really freaked out when. Really? Like, yeah, he said a friend like if you cut your food wrong, mm. he's like. I definitely saw. I definitely saw the spoon thing early, early on. Like the first, first time they show the spoon, I was yeah, just that, like, that was going to be the thing. That, that was going to be the thing. But then again, yeah. it, it's focused that way. Like they're not trying to hide. They're trying to hide certain things without hiding other things. Like it's not meant to be. I don't know. I really, I really enjoyed the way they did it. Um, uh, whenever everything connects together, like like when the the gardener is running around the yard at night, yeah. But earlier in the film, they're like he was like my father wanted to. He, yes, he raced against Jesse Owens. These things, I, and then you're like, oh, me it's oh. the me it's the, the the conversation he has. They he has at the party like one of them like black is in fashion, and then it comes out you're like it's because oh man, that's why they want them. 
Yeah. You know, it just, it, it, I don't know. I really, I really, it, it's well written. It's I will, very well it's written. It's well written. And it all connects and it's, and it's good. But, uh, so the only, know? the only line, the only line that I thought like, I know what was going on, but it was for the dumb people in the audience that didn't know what was going on when, okay. when she's leaving and she's like, grandma, grandma. <laughs> and it's like, oh, I already got that. I already figured that yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. All right, that's it. it. We like it. Loved it. Yep. But uh, and maybe not Oscar worthy. <laughs> well, that's that's for you to decide and uh, other people to just watch it. But and then again, you, you shouldn't be listening to this no, if you've you should, already watched you it because we've just yeah, ruined everything. Should, you should just watch it and make up your yeah. own mind. Who and uh, a deer does not make the barely any damage on a car. Just letting you know there should have been more damage. Okay, bye! <laughs> Game over, man. Game over. Thanks for listening. Be sure to subscribe, rate, and review the podcast. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at Lost Commentary, on Instagram at Raiders of the Lost Commentary, and like us on Facebook. I'll be back.